The Maurice Gilois, novice chase is next then. It's two mile five furlongs. It's a grade one again. Chestnut surprise, Paul Rose. Dragon legend, Leon Van Resburg. Fantastique. Joshua Sutherland, Moo Moo Vodka, Ghost Zapper, St. David's Day. Graham Clutterbuck, Gemini Sweet, Martin Leadham Hart has a wish. Molly at Surfer, the Queen's Estate, Darren Thompson and Una. David Robertson, away they go then. And two greys at the four to start the race then as they go over that little pathway and now towards the first of 13 fences and they will skip over that one nicely and Moo Moo Vodka is the one that's going to put the pace to the race and it's very quickly gone three or four lengths clear of St David's Day in second as they pass the big screen and the winning post with a couple of circuits of oi toy to go and Moo Moo Vodka will be trying to give another winner to John Morgan with St David's Day in second, Una is third. The rest of the field pretty tightly packed with Gemini Sweet and Chestnut Surprise. Just the back two at the moment. So a pretty small field for this. A early season grade one event where you would think that early on in the season one or two people would have had a tilt at this. But uh, Moo Moo Vodka skips over the second in the lead. They all gave that plenty of air and jumped it rather slowly as they take the next they're all over that one a little bit better and gemini sweet is now the back marker and they're already pretty well strung out and these front running horses of john morgan's are changing the complexion of some of these jump races this season and he leads by three lengths moo moo vodka to st david's day in second gap of a few lengths then to Una in third and then Hart has a wish and Dragon Legend together with the Queen's Estate coming up on their outside and Fantastique on the outside of them. But as we said in the race previously, it's not a problem being wide on the track here because the ones on the right are actually running wider than the ones on the outside because they're going a long way around. A bizarre situation which I don't quite understand as they take the next think that if they cut over to this side they'd be um, in a much better position but anyway Moo Moo Vodka leads by about three or four to Una and St David's there as they take the sixth and good jump at the back there by Gemini Sweet I see that one jump forward three places and leave Chestnut Surprise as the tail end Charlie but it's Moo Moo Vodka who is the leader at this stage as it has been throughout. Oh, they're beginning to close now and Hart has a wish on the outside. He's getting a little bit closer. And Una between the two. So it's Moo Moo Vodka as they come past the winning post. Then one more circuit to go and Moo Moo Vodka is the leader. Una is second. Hart has a wish is third. Then St David's Day is fourth and Fantastique is fifth with Dragon Legend and then Chestnut Surprise Queen's Estate is on the outside of Gemini Sweet and there at the back. So, Moo Moo Vodka then and Una, two grey showing the way home with a mile to race. And the jockey on the lead just had a little look round there to see where the others were. And there's how much petrol he's got left in the tank. Skipped over number nine, the jumping's been good. Nothing's looked like, oh, I say nothing looked look like falling and then. As soon as I say that, the leader goes and walks straight through it. So, Moo Moo Vodka's lead is down to a head now then. From Una in second, St David's Day third. Hart has a wish on the rail. Chestnut surprises next as they take the fourth from home. And Moo Moo Vodka is a length clear of Una and St David's Day. Then Chestnut Wish and Chestnut Wish, Chestnut Surprise and Dragon Legend. Oh, close up. Gemini Sweets get a little bit closer again. Queen's Estate and Fantastique just at the back, but it's Moo Moo Vodka who has been in charge of this race most of the way. And races down into the final three and a half furlongs with a clear lead of a good two lengths. And skips over to third last from Moo Moo in second. Dragon Legend looks to be going well in third. Chestnut Surprise is looking for some room in fourth. Then comes St David's Day, Fantastique. And Hart has a wish of trying to run on Gemini Sweet and the Queen's Estate look beaten. Over the second last they go and it's still Moo Moo Vodka with Chestnut Surprise and St David's Day now in hot pursuit but Moo Moo Vodka's 
got first, second and third runner. All these been in the lead all the way and has not looked like really been in any trouble all the way around the race so far and is now probably further clear than she has been at any point so far. And Moo Moo Vodka is over the last and he's into the final half full on the jockey. Looks like he's taking it pretty easy on this one. Just not surprised and Vodka's listening to try to close but they've got no chance at all. And Moo Moo Vodka takes it in a canter from Chestnut Surprise and Dragon's Legend. And we take a look at the full list then of the connections and Moo Moo Vodka for Go Zapper. That was the easiest winner I've seen all season. Chestnut Surprise for Paul Road second. Dragon Legend Leon van Rensburg third. St. David's Day Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Una for David Robertson was fifth.